Hello everyone. This is Pierre Pauly. I'm happy to join you for a wonderful WestJet flight. The union that represents WestJet cabin crew is demanding an apology from the airline. It says conservative leader Pierre Polyev should not have been allowed to speak on a public address system on a recent flight. And now Polyev is pushing back. I think that the uh, union should apologize for trying to silence freedom of speech. The flight was leaving Quebec City for Calgary after the Conservative Party of Canada's convention. Alberta's local president of the Canadian Union of Public Employees said it's very disappointed that the airline allowed a politician to use a PA system. This is your napkin warning. A little bit of turbulence, but it will only last about two years. In a series of tweets, the QP president said the cabin crew had no input into the decision, adding that a flight's PA system should be used to give passengers information they need and require. Two days later, Polyev said the crew invited him to speak multiple times, and his message was well received. People on the plane were just delighted with my common sense remarks. Now, some people are using the hashtag boycott WestJet, including Canadian singer Jan Arden. WestJet CEO said the flight was added to help with the convention and was largely filled with PC delegates. He said the company would revisit their PA policy, tweeting that WestJet is nonpartisan by nature. PC supporters have since noted that there were times liberal politicians used a PA system. In 2021, Omar Al-Gabra, the previous Minister of Transport, made an announcement on a via rail train during a media event. He had provided an update on a high-frequency train from Quebec to Toronto. He will increase the speed of up to 200 and this past August, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau spoke on a Toronto train. It was part of an Emancipation Day celebration. It is a privilege for me to be able to uh, join on this journey. So what do you think about the WestJet situation? Tell us in the comments.